case you're wondering where I am, I'm not in New Mexico. It turned cold on me, and I do not like being cold, so I canceled my reservations. I will go back when the weather warms up a bit. And so I am back in Arizona, and I'm staying at an RV park in Yuma because I had a little accident with my van and I hit a berm in the desert and scraped the underside of my van and it cracked or did something to my black tank sewer pipe and it leaks so I can't use the toilet and I haven't been able to use the toilet for a whole week so let me show you what I've been doing yep that's it <laughs> I've been using dog pads. I've still been using the toilet bowl, but I line it with the dog pad. I cut one in half. I got the extra large. I cut it in half and I line the toilet bowl with it. And then after each use, I wad it up. It, so, it absorbs a lot of moisture. So, um, but you, I can't do more than one. <laughs> so I put it in a little plastic trash bag and I throw it in my trash, in which I haven't noticed that it smells, but I throw the trash out there about every other day. Or if I start smelling it, I guess I would throw it away sooner, but so far that hasn't happened. But this is not the optimal solution. Yeah, so the dog pads got me through a crunch. I, like I said, I've been using them for about a week, um, but um, I tried to make an appointment to have the sewer system fixed and was told by three different RV dealerships that service Pleasure Way that they weren't taking um, appointments until May. <laughs> so, uh, what I ended up doing was ordering a composting toilet. And that's why I'm at the RV park, so I can receive shipments here. Um, so um, I ordered a Trilino medium, and it should be arriving today. So I'll be showing you that a little bit later. Um, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, having to deal with the dog pads <laughs> has not been very pleasant this week but once I get the composting toilet I actually will probably be happier because I loathe the black tank I don't like having to dump it um, and it fills up too fast it's only 10 gallons so I can only stay out boondocking for about four days before I have to dump my black tank so now that I have this new composting toilet coming, I should be able to go uh, a week or two, probably. Um, we'll see how that turns out, but I did have a composting toilet before in the last um, van build that we had. It was uh, Nature's Head, um, and we didn't have to empty it for like two or three weeks, the, the, the number two part. The piece stuff you have to change out about every two days. So, but that's better than not being able to stay out as long as you want. And I'm also conserving water because I don't have to flush a toilet. So, I think uh, originally when I bought the RV, I asked them if I could get a composting toilet instead. But this was a um, 2022, new 2022, and I didn't want to lose that on that deal because I got a really good deal on it so so I'll get my composting toilet wish and not have to deal with the blank tank I'll, I'll get it fixed eventually but for now I think uh, this is going to be the optimal solution so check with me later look what arrived today And piglet. 
doesn't like the dog pads either, but she can use them if there's an emergency. Nice and shiny and new. Ta da! We have a container for number two. I got a biodegradable bags for number two basket. And number one goes in here. And it should, it's a 1.3 gallons, so it should probably be able to go a couple of days without having to empty it. And then this has a lid on it, I probably would never use that. This is a temporary spot for it until I can remove the old toilet, but it's pretty convenient. Here's the big reveal. I got my composting toilet installed and I actually have room for my knees now. Before the toilet that was there before, I could not um, put my knees straight forward because they would run into the sink there. But with this one, I can. So more comfort for me and no more black tank to deal with. So, I still have to get rid of the old toilet, which currently is riding right there. And then when I go to bed tonight, I'll move it <laughs> up to the front. But I will find a place to dispose of it. Piglet's approval of the uh, composting toilet was given, so she's very happy for me. So I gotta get rid of the toilet, but once that's done, I'll be done with the whole deal. <laughs> okay. If you're not familiar with a composting toilet, basically it's a urine diverter. So the urine goes into one container and number two goes into another container. And there's no poop in there. By the way, I just put fresh uh, coconut core in there and so you do your business in there and then you sprinkle a little bit more coconut core over the top of it and then just keep adding layers until it gets you know full and then you put it in your trash and take it out the pea container is just a jug and so it holds 1.3 gallons and so I've been using it since Monday and today is Thursday and I had only used a little over half of it so I think that's pretty good. That's better than the, uh, than the nature's head uh, was when we had two people using it, of course. Um, I think they were about the same size container. So anyway, I'm very pleased with this. It does not smell. And yeah, so I don't have to deal with the black tank anymore. Oh, let me show you this. So I keep this container. That's what I keep the coconut core in. And so I have these little, uh, I, don't, I might try something different next time, but I ordered these little pucks 
the coconut cord. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting that open. So they look like this. They look like this. And basically what I do is just drop it in the bottom of the container and put a little bit of water in it and I just keep adding water and it keeps absorbing it and eventually it will fill up this whole container. And that's enough for two or three uses. So this is probably won't last all that long so I may either just have, have to order more next time or they come in bricks but the bricks make five gallons worth it. I don't have room for a five gallon bucket so I think I'll stick with these and just order more next time. So anyway, it's all working out pretty good and I'm very happy that I didn't have to spend $800 uh, to repair my black tank sewer pipe issue, which is one of the guesstimates that I was given by uh, a guy that's kind of like a mobile repair guy. He specializes in RV sewer issues. Um, yeah, he gave me an estimate of 400 to 800 dollars, but he wanted to charge me 185 dollars uh, to investigate and see what the problem was. So it could have been less than that, but uh, I ended up spending 430 dollars on this toilet because I ordered some bags and some extra stuff that goes with it. So I think I came out ahead and again I don't have to deal with the black tank and my gray tank so far I tested it. I haven't been trying to conserve water but it lasted about eight days. So I should be able to stay out moon docking for eight days in the future. So Yay for me!